Welcome back to East Texas Live. Carson, tell us about the weather. Alrighty, Frank. Well, we are talking about a few clouds around the Nacogdoches area. Actually did have some showers and thunderstorms earlier in Nacogdoches County. This is, of course, the top of the Fredonia Hotel, and we are seeing a little bit of activity, but notice how non widespread this is. Five, maybe 10% of us will end up seeing some rainfall today, so you need to be prepared. Remember those umbrellas if you have them, but you're going to be lucky if you do end up seeing the rain. It's just precautionary at this point. One little mean little cell just to the northwest of Scottsville there that could dump heavy rain on you for about five minutes. Not going to mount out to much and it's not going to last very long. And that's kind of becoming the theme as we look at some of these storms down by the Sam Rayburn Reservoir. They blow up real quickly and then they slowly fizzle out and that will continue to be the trend throughout the afternoon. So let's get you right to future cast. Once again, lots of clouds around. We're going to continue to see those bubble up showers and storms not amounting out to much and they're not going to last that long. A couple breaks in the clouds by five o'clock and then we move into the overnight hours. We're going to continue to see those clouds pass overhead, maybe a little bit of drizzle tomorrow morning. So remember those umbrellas. This is 10 o'clock and then we could see a few breaks in the clouds once again tomorrow afternoon and then the floodgates do start to open for our first wave of heavy rain that starts at 10 o'clock tomorrow night and it will be wave after wave of rain through 7 o'clock on Saturday and even more precipitation is expected Saturday afternoon and throughout the day on Sunday and this could actually end up with quite a bit of rain on the ground. Now we're talking about perhaps a couple to maybe a few inches of rain for deep east Texas, but the bullseye of the rainfall is just going to be to the south of Tyler, Longview, and along the interstate corridor pointing off into deep east Texas. So you do need to be weather aware, and if you live in an area that is susceptible to flooding or know any low-lying roads, you're probably going to want to stay away from them if we do see that rainfall this weekend. 70s and 80s right now, we're warming to a high temp temperature of about 86 degrees. So while you're probably going to see the rain, you're most likely going to see more sunshine today as well. Sometimes at the same time because hey, that happens here in East Texas. 70 degrees tonight, few passing clouds. Winds will be out of the south at 10 and then we go over to our next seven days. A few showers and thunderstorms Friday evening, but the better chance of rain will be arriving Saturday night into Sunday and also throughout the day on Monday. Deep East Texas, similar story. I do expect heavier rain amounts for Deep East Texas, so you do you need to be weather aware for the potential of flash flooding. Frank?